Well, when I wrote Dating for Idiots, this was, this was quite a few years ago, like two years ago, I was in a shopping mall signing my first book, Dating for Dummies, and I, this young man came up to me, young man, he was like 27 years old, real scrawny, had some glasses on and stuff, and he, he had said, Dr. Heater, I'm 27 years old, and I've never, you know, I've never been with a woman before. 27? At 27 years old, yeah. And, you know, what am I doing wrong? And I had to, I, I talked to him, I went, took him out for a, a slice of pizza, and we talked about his situation, and now he had dated women before uh, in World of Warcraft, that, that online game. He, he had dated, um, I believe, an elf and a goblin and I think an orc. And he, you know, he had some nice relationships with him for several months, but he never managed to get anywhere with those relationships. Uh, first of all, those kinds of relationships don't work out. I don't recommend them to anybody. Um, but his, his situation, his experiences in the real world were very limited. So I gave him some tips, and, and in talking to him, he became the inspiration for Dating for Idiots. And uh, that's, how, that's how that book came about, based on that young man's experiences. It has to be a very tall woman. It would have to be a very tall woman, um, possibly with dreadlocks. I, I think I'd like that. Uh, maybe Grace Jones, but with dreadlocks. Um, so you like black women, only black women. No, not, no women of color, just black women. Um, someone who, someone who beat the crap out of me every now and then if I get out of line, you know, real big, like. Maybe like a basketball player or something like that. So you're into S and M? No, I'm more into B and D than S and M. Uh, with the light uh, Angora fetish, but uh, yeah, I'd have to say maybe a young Grace Jones. Any particular age range? Young. How young? Like fourteen to, to sixteen. But Doctor Peter. I know. I know. That's an interesting. That's an interesting story. I was born in a log cabin in Montana, um, and then I moved from Montana to Kansas, where I went to grammar school for a little while for a few years. Um, my father was a he was a gold prospector, so he went wherever the gold was. So we went from Kansas to Nevada, um, then we moved over to uh, moved over to Arkansas for a while, and then we went back up to Montana because they were selling a log cabin. I went to school there for a little while. I went to school all over the place. And then finally, uh, basically, we settled in Texas, and I, I grew up in Houston, in Texas, and I went to the University of Texas A&M. Um, so that's where I studied. I got my degree in, in sociology and human relationship studies. So I have a PhD, uh, a BND, uh, I got two S&Ms, and I got a, uh, an MFA. All from different places, because I've been all over the place. I know all that stuff. Very qualified uh, doctor. Well, Dr. Heater, I would like to thank you for coming out. Oh, today. is that it? <laughs>